Getty Images even by the standards set by this administration asterisk regarding grift in office, Scott Pruitt stands alone. And even by the standards set by this administration asterisk by which the ultimate measure of performance in office is how little you perform in office, Scott Pruitt stands alone. From Politico the intervention early this year, not previously disclosed, came as HHS, Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry was preparing to publish its assessment of a class of toxic chemicals that has contaminated water supplies near military bases, chemical plants and other sites from New York to Michigan to West Virginia. The study would show that the chemicals endanger human health at a far lower level than EPA has previously called safe, according to the emails. Advertisement, continue writing below, the public, media, and congressional reaction to these numbers is going to be huge, one unidentified White House aide said in an email forwarded on Jan. 30 by James Herz, a political appointee who oversees environmental issues at the OM. The email added, the impact to EPA and the Defense Department is going to be extremely painful. We, DOD and EPA, cannot seem to get ATSDR to realize the potential public relations nightmare this is going to be, I don't get this. If the administration asterisk publicizes these problems, and then works to solve them, won't that make the administration asterisk more popular? Wouldn't that make Pruitt something of a hero to the people whose water is presently unfit to drink? Getty Images Advertisement, continue writing below apparently, by asking about these things, I do not have what it takes to work in this administration asterisk, the chemicals at issue in the HHS study have long been used in products like Teflon and firefighting foam, and are contaminating water systems around the country. Known as PFOA and PFOS, they have been linked with thyroid defects, problems in pregnancy and certain cancers, even at low levels of exposure. The problem has already proven to be enormously costly for chemicals manufacturers. The 3M Co., which used them to make Scotchgard, paid more than $1.5 billion to settle lawsuits related to water contamination and personal injury claims. But some of the biggest liabilities reside with the Defense Department, which used foam containing the chemicals in exercises at bases across the country. In a March report to Congress, the Defense Department listed 126 facilities where tests of nearby water supplies showed the substances exceeded the current safety guidelines. The government study concluding that the chemicals are more dangerous than previously thought could dramatically increase the cost of cleanups at sites like military bases and chemical manufacturing plants, and force neighboring communities to pour money into treating their drinking water supplies. The cleanup of our institutions, whenever it occurs, is going to be even more costly. Respond to this article on the Esquire Politics Facebook page here.